So today we are gonna be taking a look at my 2021 gaming setup. Yes, we're doing another one. The last time we did this one was last year and it seems like every year my gaming setup changes and it's just because I'm always trying to improve on different things to not only help me create content a lot easier, but also enjoy gaming at a higher level. So in this video, maybe we're gonna be showing you all the small changes. Some of you guys might already notice them and I'll, I'll tell you what products I actually have here and break them down for you in case you guys wanna know. So if you guys are ready, well, before we do, let's take a quick second to thank our sponsor of this video, Advanced GG. And you guys know I've been partnered with them for a while now. Now I wanna tell you guys, they have some of the best tasting and most efficient energy products on the market. And if you guys hate coffee like me, well, this is 100% the product for you. Now, I partnered with them and I was talking to them and I said, hey, let's give back to my community. So for the next four days, you guys can get 30% off of your order. Do not miss out 30% off of your order. I will put a link down below in the description and I will pin a comment down below. All you have to use is skills 30, hit checkout and take advantage of 30% off of your order. But let's get into our 2021 gaming setup. So right off the bat, you should notice I am running three different monitors. I have two LG monitors that I use for my PC setup. So I have one vertically and that's for the chat setup when I stream. And then I have another LG model to do all my editing and that's where I capture my content. I do everything editing on this monitor right here. Now to the right is the new M28U. This is my gaming monitor. This is for my PlayStation 5 and my PC, but this gives has the HDMI 2.1 and so far it's been amazing, but I am still on the lookout for maybe even improving this one. At top, we have the Elgato ring light. It's a great way to light up your game setup, especially if you stream. And we have a key light Elgato right there. Well, just one more game. Yes, we love the poster and wanted to put it on the wall. Now, probably one of my favorite headsets to use are these Astro A40s with the mix amp because it works amazing with the PlayStation 5, what I have in the back. If we slide over, you have the standard PlayStation 5 controller with the control free grips. If you guys wanna try control freaks, remember if you guys use skills at checkout at control freaks, you guys can get 10% off your order. And then we have the aftermarket. Holy, this hex gaming controller is probably one of the nicest looking controllers I've ever had. And I just love how it feels, how it looks. Whew, I'm just so impressed with the quality product they provided for me. We head over to the keyboard. We have the Corsair keyboard. Love the red lighting on this bad boy. It's a little loud, but hey, I am not complaining. I have the wireless Razer mouse right here. Whew. I'll put a link to all this in the description. And then we have the Elgato Wave 3 mic with the pop filter. And then we have the mic arm. I am trying to upgrade to that low profile Elgato mic arm, but hey, it's been sold out everywhere. And then powering everything is this beast of a PC. Love it. I can't complain. Thanks to AMD back in the day, they sent me this out and it, it just runs absolutely amazing. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, the sponsor of the video. Yes, we got some more of their focus. This is the gummy bear flavor. This flavor is actually one of my favorite. And then I haven't tried the strawberry lemonade. I'm gonna try that next. We have the new black color controller for PlayStation 5 backup. That's the Hex Gaming Box. All my Elgato products I use to capture, the HD60, HD64, HD 4K Pro. This custom made painting of my, my French Bulldog. Another extra PlayStation 5 controller. Can't have too many on hand. We have the Hey Wave 3 box there. And then right here, this, this this shelf actually means a lot to me. Division 2, um, this is actually the Dark Zone box. You can see the character popping the flare. And then in the back, we have another one of the main characters. Um, just these characters I had to put in my room because you guys know my channel really grew off a of Division franchise. And then this character really means the most because Division is really where I grew up um, on a channel. So, hey, look what we have here. Tomb Raider poster and then of course, we're gonna have a Division One, at least a Division One on here. Two of my favorite games of all time. Then I have this nice, comfy sofa. Anybody come over, they can just sit back, relax. And then we got the French Bulldog just taking a nap. He's like, Dad, can you hurry up already? He's taking a little nap on the screen. And a lot of you guys probably asked whatever happened to my LG CX. This is the 48 inch. This actually can get 120 um, 
FPS, but the issue with this is I do sit at a desk and it hurts my eyes when I'm so close. So currently I switched back to the monitor. My goal is to bring another desk right here and then I could put that big monitor right there. And then anytime I'm playing any time of single player games, I can just move the chair to the right. Um, I won't tell you what chair I have because I'm definitely working on getting a new one. So I'm not even gonna recommend this in the description if you guys are looking for one. It's just, I, I it feels like a regular chair to me, but I think, I think I'm gonna be upgrading soon. Um, I just haven't decided and haven't pulled the plug. But yeah, this is it guys. This is my gaming setup 2021. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, hey, leave a thumbs up. And until the next one, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.